we're just nervous to be out by ourselves right now. We also know that this dark period, we'll have her memories and, and we will love her every minute that we are on this earth. I know that Phoenix residents are resting easier after this arrest. Her life cut short, her accused killer it seems no stranger to a jail cell. It's been exactly one week since the murder of Lauren Heike, and we are now learning more about what's being described as a random attack. Police say the 29 year old was stabbed 15 times while hiking on a North Phoenix trail. That suspect, a convicted felon, was arrested days later. ABC 15's Ashley Paredes walks us through what led up to his arrest. Heartbreak felt across the community as new details emerged in the murder of 29-year-old Lauren Heinke on a hiking trail in North Phoenix, seemingly at random. It's uh, scary to learn the mind of someone like this um, and what he was thinking. 22-year-old Zion Teasley appearing before a judge Friday. A Maricopa County prosecutor says DNA, cell phone, and circumstantial evidence all helped in connecting him to the crime. Police believe Heike was killed on April 28th, giving us a timeline of her steps that morning. We're told surveillance video collected from the area shows Heike at 10.29 a.m., leaving the entrance of her apartment complex on Mayo Boulevard. At 10.38 a.m., Lauren was seen on video walking southbound on Allied Way taking a right turn on Princess Drive. Little did she know that around that same time, Teasley was coincidentally just right across the intersection. That is when their paths crossed, and police say he continued following her to a trail entrance about a quarter mile away. According to court documents, at 10.52 a.m., a surveillance camera from a home within the Paradise Ridge community shows Lauren walking alone on the trail before stepping out of view. Nearly 30 seconds later, Teasley is seen walking the same direction. Then a short time later, he is seen sprinting. By 10.55 a.m., Teasley is trying to cross a barbed wire fence along the trail, which leads to a desert area. Detectives believe Lauren ran through there, trying to escape Teasley, her shoe left behind. She was found 24 hours later with 15 stab wounds from a pocket knife. I, I believe she fought him off. She was able to get away, but her injuries were too severe and she just couldn't continue. Teasley is being held on first degree murder and for violating his probation. He was released from prison last November after being convicted of armed robbery, robbery and disorderly conduct stemming from multiple incidents in 2020. Authorities also say Teasley was recently terminated from his employer for being quote aggressive toward female employees. Documents state Teasley told investigators he was struggling with his sexuality and when shown a picture of Lauren, he said he recognized her from the news and and wanted to look like her. May her memory be a blessing for you. She was taken from us too soon. We cannot imagine how much it hurts, but we hope that the city can be there for you in this difficult time. Ashley Perret is ABC 15, Arizona.